the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops. And it's going to be a beautiful day that's plain to see. Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today. You know, for years, Bass Pro has carried a Bill Dance signature combos. And people have often asked me, Bill, do you use them? Well, that's silly. My answer is a definite yes. As with everything Quantum makes, the quality is always improving. And that's why I'm so proud to tell you a good thing has gotten better. Quantum has recently upgraded our signature combos. Honestly, for the money, this is a doggone good combination. And I'm gonna take a pair of these with me today and show you just how well they work. They're seven foot medium heavy action rods and they're paired with a 6.1 to one gear ratio reel, which are among the most popular ratios for anglers. Also, the Bill Dance Signature Combos are available in different actions and lengths and also for a great price. And less expensive does not mean less quality. Trust me, a bass has no idea how much you spend on a rod and reel. I think these outfits are awesome in both bait casting and also in spinning. And they're especially great tools for teaching a beginning angler how to fish. So hey, let me get these spooled up and I'll see you out on the water. Hey Bill, can I help you? <laughs> hey Neil, how you doing? I'm oh, doing pretty No, good. I picked up a few of these. Oh, that's a good choice. How the uh, the special edition selling real well. Are they selling well? They're selling real In both well. spinning and bait casting? In both. Well, it looks like they're selling pretty good. Tell you what, can you get these spooled up? I for sure me? can. Appreciate it. Here. Appreciate it. Doing the type of work I do affords me the opportunity to travel and fish some mighty beautiful, interesting, and different places. Now, some are productive, others are not. Some are easy to fish, while others are very difficult. Some are mighty hard to get to, and some are very tough to get to. It's a real effort most times to find the perfect balance. And by that I mean a great fishing place with good access. Like today, we've got an ideal fishing hole, but an area that's difficult to get to. You know, it's a known fact that there's thousands of fishing spots that are virtually untouched simply because they're just doggone hard to get to and almost impossible to launch a boat to get into, even with a four-wheeler or with four-wheel drive. But if you're willing to work at it, most times you'll be highly rewarded. Well, as you can see, we finally made it. Yep, we really did. Woo, boy, did we ever. Today, we've got a temperature of about 70 degrees and a water temperature just about the same. So with that, we'll begin our search in the shallows along these steeper banks and also in the tail end of the creeks and pockets and also in the back end of the coves since the spawn is just around the corner. Now the lure we've chosen to use, I've had a tremendous amount of success with over the years and one you've seen me use here many times on Bill Dance Outdoors. It's called a Bass Pro Shop Laser Eye Shad and it will run to a depth of any depth you want to fish it. It's perhaps the most natural looking lure I've ever used. The unique design allows it to swim in such a look alive action and one bass find mighty hard to resist. Yes, sir. Where are you going to go? Huh? Under the boat. <laughs> you 
You look at the size of that bait, five inches. Look at that, that could go in his mouth so easy. Pet that is. See you, boy. Bill Dance Outdoors is sponsored in part by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Rebel, catch fish anywhere. And by Mercury Marine, go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by the Tennessee Department of Tourist Development. Come experience the kind of beauty that can only be made in Tennessee. Go online today for your free Tennessee vacation guide. I got you. I got you. Got you, old boy. There we go again. No one wanting to go around. Strong that dog on fish is. You through? Huh? Easy. All right, come up here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let me get you. I got you. Nice one. Boy, look at that. You just about threw it. Yeah, you did. Another one. A little fat fish. Look how potted that one is. All right, buddy. See ya. Thank you. Well, it looks like we made a pretty good choice. Now, speaking of lures, a comment I've heard many, many times is, Boy, you know, that's a beautiful, beautiful bait. It's got a natural finish. Now that bait will flat catch fish, and I'm sure it will, provided. Now wait a minute, before I say any more, think about this. It doesn't matter how pretty a fishing lure looks, or how great it wiggles, wobbles, dives, darts. It's not gonna produce too well if it's not fished at the proper location, nor is it gonna produce unless it's fished at the correct depth, and it's not gonna catch much unless it's presented properly. Now think about that. All those things are very, very important. another strong one. Oh, come on back here. All right, come here, buddy. That pretty one. There we go. And of course, there's other things to consider about a lure, and that's the size and the color. Both of these can and do make a difference, a big difference. Let's face it, there's a whole lot to think about before you start out than just tying on a lure because it's pretty. 
You know, when we talk about lure colors, something else that's always amazed me is when I hear fishermen say that the color of a fishing lure, well, that doesn't matter. That doesn't make a difference. But, you know, if you were to look in their tackle box, you'd probably find more different colored lures than there are colors in the rainbow. I've been fishing now for over 60 years, and I can tell you, as far as I'm concerned, color does make a difference. I know there are going to be times when this may not be the case, but there are more times when it does. Today's show is sponsored in part by Quantum Rods and Reels, Mystic Lubricants, Lubrication Domination, and Tracker Boats, Fish the Finest. Today's show is sponsored in part by Strin, the standard of dependability since 1958. Lure Lock, turning the tackle world upside down. And Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Today's equipment log is brought to you in part by Gamakatsu, because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. That bait was way down in there and he swirled around and the bait came back up and caught him right there in the top lip. Woo! Are you so strong? Yes, you are. Now, speaking of colors, did you know that the sunlight not only governs the color of a lure, but it also governs the shape and the size. Although bait fish are often highly visible, they can become camouflage during part of the day in some water clarities or during seasonal changes in their own color. Now, if they remained visible to predator fish all the time, they would have been eaten a long time ago. Like I've said before, if a deer with solid chartreuse, just how long do you suppose it would survive during hunting season? Or if it was Tennessee orange? I like that better. It wouldn't last very long, I can promise you that. I know it wouldn't last long in Alabama. <laughs> Fishermen often think fish have turned off when the color they're using stops producing. It might just be that the light or water clarity changed and the fish can no longer see your offering. So it's smart to change colors often until you find one that produces. You know, it's also a known fact that water absorbs some light rays faster than others and therefore changes the appearance of color as seen by man or a camera. But remember, a fish's eyes, well, they're different than ours. Although researchers don't really know how fish perceive color, they do know certain colors are more effective for catching fish in different light levels and water clarities. But fish do see color, and they can distinguish color and even shades of the same color. Oh boy, I'm just trying to go into the boat. Look at that. Look at the color in that, that olive green. 
They're just a strong boy. I mean strong. Good loop. Yeah, it's the first time I've tried these rods out and they they do a pretty good job. I got it equipped with 14 pounds strand original. It's a special edition bait casting combination. Take the reel for instance. It's got some great features. It's got a strong graphite frame, it's aluminum spool, continuous and reverse, adjustable magnetic cast control. It's lightweight, balanced handle. And this matching quantum rod, as I said, is a, it's a sensitive high M6 graphite blank and it comes fitted with uh, corrosive resistant stainless steel D-ring guides. It has a comfortable EVA uh, handle grip and an extremely smooth drag system. Just as smooth as country butter. And you can't beat the price for a little over 60 bucks. The Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week is brought to you by Mystic Lubricants and their complete line of JT4 Marine products. A full line of products for your full line of pursuits. Visit mysticlube.com today. What's more important, water temperatures at the surface or beneath it in the spring? Well, you hear a lot about surface temperatures, but fish don't spend as much time at the surface as they do beneath it. So it stands to reason temperatures at greater depths are more important. The key is to find the comfort zone beneath, and it could vary by only a few degrees. This is why a temperature gauge that can probe the depths is always a plus. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine a new class of comfort. And Motor Guide, trolling motors engineered for anglers. Closed captioning provided by Power Pole, the original shallow water anchor. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, chart plotter, sonar combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive Pan Optics all-seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. I'll never forget one of the many things my grandfather taught me about fishing, and that was being quiet. Maybe he wanted me to hush up so he could concentrate. <laughs> now seriously, many times it pays off. And that's why I like this little four-stroke motor so doggone much. It allows me to idle back through this shallow cover without even spooking a minnow. Come be a part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. Pretty fish right there. Strong, strong partner. Barely hooked. I told you he just barely hooked. You liked it too, didn't you? Huh? That's a pretty bite. You looking at it? I know you are. How fat that mess. He hadn't missed any meal. You glutton. <laughs> See ya. Kaboom. That's another chunky little fish. Okay, here's something else you might find interesting about fish vision and color perception. Since fish's eyes are on the side of their head, Fish also have a wide range of sight. 
but the right and left eyes each see a separate half of the field, so they suffer a little from split vision. Nevertheless, it's an advantage to have each eye able to scan an arc of 180 degrees or more of each side of the body. To the fish's rear, there is a blind spot where neither eye can see, and this is why you'll always catch more fish by bringing your offering to the fish rather than bringing it up behind him. What this does, it'll startle fish and can spook them away. Dead ahead, a fish can see your bait at some distance and it can react to it much quicker. Also straight ahead, the arcs of the eyes overlap to provide a narrow band where the fish has binocular vision. It's in this band of binocular vision that the fish can be expected to have an accurate depth perception. In chasing down fishing lures or living prey, where depth perception is important, fish will attack straight ahead, and this straight-on position gives the fish the maximum ability to estimate target distance. Without depth perception, a fish has a tough time determining the range of its target and hitting his mark. If the lure of prey is barely visible, his chances of catching it are very slim, virtually nil, regardless of what direction it's moving. Oh, big one. Whoa, buddy. It's determined to stay under that boat. Got a mouthful of it, though, I know that. A strong one. If you remember nothing more about fish vision than how fish see your offering before the strike, well, you've gained an edge. Like I said in the beginning, the lure you fish may be pretty, but if it's not fished at the right location, the proper depth with the correct presentation, it might as well look like a, a warthog. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Join us here again next week. Now I've gone fishing with 